I ripped a sheet of plywood in half and then ripped them down further to size. I used the miter saw to cut them down to the exact size of each panel. I then planed them down a very small amount to remove a few of the rough spots on the top and bottoms of the plywood. I then used a quarter inch roundover bit to smooth the edges that would be exposed. Next, I used a primer by Zenser to prime each piece to get it ready to be painted. I applied the primer using a bucket and a nap roller. This Mardi Gras chair is different than most of its kind. This chair represents much more than just a chair that is attached to the top of a ladder in an effort to catch more beads. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. This Mardi Gras chair represents a physical manifestation of an idea. The foundation and process for how everything in our world is created. Just think about that for a moment. Doesn't everything begin with an idea? It represents two hours of time. Two hours of quality time spent with my children, creating something with our own hands. Two hours of smiles, laughter, and ideas. Two hours away from game consoles, computers, touchscreens, and marketing propaganda. This chair is not a physical gift to be given to my children. Rather, it is an activity that allows me to give them a much greater gift. The gift of my time. This chair is a lesson to my children a lesson to teach them something about me, how I create my art. They will know how to use tools, how to put ideas down on paper, how to work with wood, how to make sawdust, how to problem solve, how to get their hands dirty, how to put forth some sweat equity, and how to improvise and recover when things don't go their way. And at the end of the day, to find their purpose because that is where their magic resides. It is fuel, fuel that may ignite the creative fire already burning within those who built it. This chair represents simplicity, reminding us that simple things speak the language of our hearts. It is a symbol of freedom where ideas and thoughts can flow with complete acceptance, where there is no right or wrong. This chair represents perfect imperfection, reminding us that physical imperfections often shield a perfect heart. It is a symbol a symbol of the two most important days of our lives. The day we were born, and more importantly, the day we find out why.
This chair is a journal, a journal that recorded every stroke of paint, every mistake, every fear, and every success. It is a symbol of pride, the type of pride felt after creating something with our own hands. It represents confidence, confidence for my children to be creators, confidence for them to forge their own path, confidence to question things which are commonly accepted, to go against the grain, confidence to be who they are instead of who they are taught to be. There will come a day that I'll be called home, and my wife, children, or my grandchildren will find this beat-up old Mardi Gras chair in a dusty corner somewhere, and they will remember. They will remember its meaning. They will remember creating this with me and picture me smiling in their hearts. They will remember, if they don't already know, that they are creators. They are artists in their own special way. Do you now see why this is not a typical Mardi Gras chair? I hope you do. I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as we did creating it. For all of my future videos, hit the subscribe button right down there in the lower part of your screen. I would greatly appreciate it, and you'll be the first to know right when I release new videos. You can also follow me on my blog, on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or Instagram. And don't forget, imagine, create, share. Until next time.